lot of us need a coffee to get up in the morning, and a lot of us get that coffee in one of these. In the UK, we get through 7 million of these every day. That's 2.5 billion disposable coffee cups in a year. Of those 2.5 billion, hardly any will be recycled. But what's the problem with coffee cups, and why are they so difficult to recycle? These cups are made of paper, and that means they are technically recyclable, something that coffee chains are all too happy to promote on their packaging. But inside there's a layer of polyethylene plastic, which makes them waterproof and also able to hold your drink. The problem is that it also means they can't be dealt with at conventional recycling facilities. Instead, they have to be taken to specialised centres. But if you throw away your coffee cup, it's unlikely to end up at such a centre, because there are only three such places in the UK. Unrecycled plastic is associated with all sorts of problems. The recent series of Blue Planet highlighted the impact it's having on our marine environment. As plastics break down into tiny fragments called microplastics, they can be eaten by other animals and make their way up to the food chain, ultimately ending up on our dinner plates. Some experts suggest this is already happening. Moves are already being made to deal with this problem. Some coffee chains are introducing incentives to encourage their customers to bring in their own cups. And the Environmental Audit Committee has made recommendations to government that include a 25p charge on all disposable coffee cups, a so-called latte level. Ultimately, the committee recommends that if all coffee cups are not fully recyclable by 2023, they should be banned altogether. Disposable coffee cups are a good example of a single-use plastic. Their lifespan is only as long as it takes to drink a latte. But once you've thrown one of these away, it'll take hundreds of years to break down. That's worth considering the next time you grab a coffee.